and um, we have a pretty interesting story, cute little story about my 12-year-old um, and the time he lost his testimony. And so he had just turned uh, deacon and the bishop had asked him to bear his testimony in sacrament. And he said, Mommy, I just, I don't know what to say. I know I have a testimony, but I just, I'm so confused. And what if I forget? And, and I'll never remember, you know, what I really feel out there. I said, well, you know, write it down. You know, this is a good way to actually be able to express your feelings and not forget and get your thoughts together. So he wrote it down. This was Friday night. And uh, Sunday morning comes, and he's kind of nervous and distraught. And he went up to the bishop, and he said, uh, Bishop, I can't bear my testimony. And he said, why not? He says, because I've lost my testimony. He says, well, what do you mean you've lost your testimony, Danny? How did that happen? And he said, well, I'm not quite sure how it happened or when it happened, but I was somewhere in my room. It was in my pants, and I just can't find it now. And so Bishop explained that, of course, you know, our testimonies are not that frail, and the good news is that we carry them deep inside, and we can't really lose them that way, so... He was pretty excited to know that Danny had not lost his testimony. <laughs>